Ahoy hoy and welcome to the channel. I'm Dr. Sumerian, not a real doctor, and today we're going to do a little reading of a tale I wrote, uh, last month? Yeah, last month. Um, as a part of the gift exchange on the SCP Wiki, so it was a Christmas gift for somebody else. It is called, uh, the previous segment was brought to you by a grant from the Wondertainment Holiday Fund and by viewers like you. It is December 24th, 2023, and this is NPR News. A ceasefire between forces of the Global Occult Coalition and the People's Liberation Army has broken down on the Korean Peninsula. In Britain, the Queen announces an eternal empire unshackled by the limits of time and space. And the U.S. President is defending herself from claims of executive overreach. I'm Thomas Lieberman from NPR News, and here are today's top stories. The ceasefire negotiated last June between Beijing and the GOC forces established along the border of what was once North Korea ended in gunfire today as a Chinese expeditionary force crossed the demilitarized zone into South Korea. Originally, the force of approximately 16,000 troops was attempting to flee from an unnamed threat inside North Korea's former territory. But as soon as they were detected massing along the border, the GOC forces opened fire. Over 10,000 prisoners were eventually taken with unknown casualties amongst the Chinese forces. UN forces inside South Korea have begun to mass along the border as well in expectation of the unnamed threat crossing the border. But so far, nothing has materialized. Reporting from Chinese state news services has called this an unacceptable escalation and unnecessary provocation. The People's Liberation Army have begun to mobilize troops and ships in the South China Sea. We'll get you updates on this story as it develops. In Britain, the Queen has made a strange announcement in a public address. Josh Lanier in London has more. Today, at a surprise speech in the House of Commons, the Queen has announced that Britain will form a new eternal empire unshackled by the limits of space and time. Following the speech, the Queen hovered over the House of Commons silently for approximately four minutes before landing and leaving with her entourage. What this means exactly has not yet been explained, but a number of news pundits attempting to better understand the speech and its aftermath were vaporized on live television by an unknown power. It is unknown if this is related to the speech or if it is some other anomalous phenomenon. The House of Commons was dissolved by the Queen soon after the speech. Prime Minister Boris Johnson's last act before being dissolved onto the floor of the House of Commons was to call for a snap election. There were no other survivors. President Clinton is having to defend herself from accusations of executive overreach today after she made recess appointments to the SCP Foundation's governing board. The Foundation has not had an Administrative Council appointment confirmed by the Senate since 2018, and President Clinton placed Dr. Alto Clef in the most recent open slot. Republic Senate Minority Leader Jack Riley spoke this afternoon in his home state of Washington. The President doesn't get to end run around the Senate just because it's inconvenient. The SCP Foundation governing board seats are Senate-confirmed positions. If the president wants to appoint new members, she needs to send us names that aren't tainted by past Foundation criminality. Till that time, we will continue to delay these appointments. Thank you. White House spokesperson Anna Lehman said in a written statement, Dr. Alto Clef is one of the most respected authorities on anomalous science. If the Senate would like to reconvene during Christmas to prevent this recess appointment, they certainly can. Until then, the president is going to ensure that the government remains functioning. This is NPR News. NPR News is brought to you by a donation from the Marshall Carter and Dark Charitable Trust, the Beryllium Bronze Industries Co-op, and the support of viewers like you. In the next hour, more updates on the ongoing conflict in the Korean Peninsula, and are you paying too much for avocados? Julia Hans has more. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit the subscribe button, and then hit the notification bell next to that so you're notified when I upload new videos. And special thanks to Billeth, who helped me. Uh, you can actually hear Billeth's voice in this recording. And if you'd like to support the channel, head on over to patreon.com forward slash dcimmerian and pledge at any level like everybody here on the screen already has, including Sinjariki, who has pledged at $100. It is nice to know that I'm not alone out here, and I will see you all again on Thursday.